Hello guys, myself Amrita. Welcome back to our channel Technosage. So in today's video, we are going to discuss lead code problem number 205 that is isomorphic strings. So let's get started. Let's first understand the problem. Given two strings S and T, determine if they are isomorphic. Two strings S and T are isomorphic if characters in S can be replaced to get T. So in the example you can see we have been given two strings one is S and another one is T. So we need to check whether both the strings are isomorphic. If yes then we need to return true otherwise we need to return false. And how we are going to determine whether both the strings are isomorphic if each character in the S can be replaced to get T. For example here E has been replaced with A. So if E occurs in string S again, it should be replaced with A itself. For example, G is replaced with D. So another G also will be replaced with D itself. So that means the output is true. In another example, you can see F has been replaced with B. That is fine. O has been replaced with A. That is also fine. So another O is replaced with R's. So that means it is not isomorphic because one O has been replaced with A and another O has been replaced with R. So that's why these two strings are not isomorphic. So that's why output should be false in this case. Now let's understand how we are going to solve this problem. So let's take the same example. One string S is egg and another string T is add. So that means E is mapped to A and G is mapped to D right. So that means we have to check the mapping. If all the characters in string S are mapped correctly to the string T then that means these are isomorphic strings otherwise they are not isomorphic strings. So how we are going to map this. So whenever you have to map any keys to the values we can use hash map in Java. Hash map is basically a data structure in Java in which each index has key value pair. For example, if I am taking hash map in this case, I have to map character to character. So we can take hash map of character and character in which we are going to map keys to the values. We'll take the characters in string S as keys and the characters in string T as values. So when we are scanning the string S, so we'll see that character E, right? So we are going to put in the hash map E as key and A as value. So let's say this is one pair and then when we are moving to the next character G, we are first going to check whether that key is already there in the hash map. It is not there. So in that case, we are going to put that key and the corresponding value as D. So now move on to the next character G again. So we are going to check whether that key is already there. Yes, that key is already there. When that key is already there, we are going to check whether it is mapped to the correct value or not. That means we are going to check whether G is mapped to D. Yes, G is mapped to D. So here we can see that all the values in the string S are mapped to correctly to the values in the string T. So that means we can say that these are isomorphic strings, right? Let's take another example in which both the strings are not isomorphic. Let me remove this. So let's take the strings as foo and bar, right? Foo, bar. So when we are mapping the values, so we'll see that F, let's map it to B, right? Move on to the next character, O. O is not there already in the hash map. So put O as key and value as A, right? So when we are moving on to the next character O, we'll check whether that key is already there in the hash map. Yes, it is already there in the hash map. Then we are going to check whether it is mapped to the correct value. Here the value is R, but here the value is A. So that means it is not mapped correctly to the value. So that means we can say that these two strings are not isomorphic and we can return false. So this is how we need to solve this problem. Now let's write a solution for it. So this is our class that is isomorphic strings. Now let's write a method that would be public, static and boolean since it is going to return true and false and it will expect two inputs that is string S and string T, right? I'm sorry, let's take the name as well, isomorphic. So now let's take one map to store the key values pair and both key and value should be character 
character right let's take the name as hm new hash map character comma character so now we are going to scan all the characters in the string s less than s dot length i plus plus then first what do we need to do we need to check whether that key is already there in the hash map so if hm dot contains key so contains key will check whether that key is already there in the hash map so what is the key s dot caret index i and then we need to check whether the value for that corresponding key is equal to the value in the string t hm dot get s dot caret i that means the value is equals to the character in string t so it would be if that means the values if values doesn't match then we need to return false right map contains that value then also it is false right if key and value both are not there then we need to put that means we need to map both the characters key would be s dot caret i and value would be t dot caret i so this is how we are going to map and at the end we can return true now let's take two strings s is egg and t is add let's call our function with our print statement to see the output is isomorphic s comma t let's run the program and see the output let's run the program and see the output so we can see here the output is true because the characters are mapped correctly now let's take another example that is foo bar these are not isomorphic strings so it should return false let's run the program and see the output so we can see here the output is false because these two are not isomorphic string because one o is mapped to a and another o is mapped to r so this is how we need to solve this problem if you have any questions any doubts please let me know in the comment section don't forget to like share and subscribe our channel and stay tuned for more such videos thank you for watching